What do you call a robot that can walk, crawl, and run? Not a transformer, it's Boston Dynamics' new Atlas. With billions spent on tech that rivals top athletes, this humanoid is more agile and lifelike than ever. But here's the question, are we improving life? or just creating superior replacements. The first generation of Atlas robots were clunky creations, requiring an external power source and struggling with basic movements. In the 80s and 90s, Boston Dynamics focused on quadruped robots with bulky frames that ran, hopped and jumped. Their real breakthrough came in the early 2000s with inventions like the Cheetah and Spot Mini, which went viral. The Cheetah, running at an impressive 28.3 miles per hour, became Boston Dynamics' fastest quadruped, even beating Usain Bolt's 20-meter sprint by 0.5 miles per hour. This achievement was partly thanks to funding from the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA. They also funded the creation of Spot Mini, a smaller version of the Spot Dog, which was capable of running for 90 minutes on a single charge. Weighing just 65 pounds, Spot Mini was the smallest four-legged robot in 2018. Equipped with depth cameras, a solid-state gyro, and proprioceptive sensors, it could walk autonomously, making it one of the most advanced quadrupeds of its time. Despite their success with quadrupeds, Boston Dynamics had a tough time translating that magic into bipedal models. When the first Atlas prototype dropped in 2013, DARPA's Gil Pratt called it like a one-year-old child that can barely walk. The first Atlas was nothing like the sleek parkour performing version we know today. Standing six feet tall and weighing 330 pounds, it was more machine than human with exposed wiring and a bulky hydraulic system. Its heavy metallic frame had a boxy torso and basic sensors to help control its oversized feet. When it was revealed, the New York Times called it a shaky step toward the future of humanoid robots. But Boston Dynamics wasn't done. Over the years, they refined Atlas's mobility, and the improvements were evident with each new model. In 2016, they released the first untethered biped capable of walking on rough terrain like snow. They also improved the LiDAR sensors, letting it stand up after being knocked over like a jack-in-the-box. By 2017, Atlas was jumping over boxes, turning 180 degrees, and even performing backflips. By 2020, it could sync up to perform a dance routine with another Atlas. Then, in 2021, it finally conquered a parkour course, running, jumping, and vaulting with enough fluidity to make Michael Scott jealous. With every new model, Atlas got sleeker and more advanced, hitting its peak humanoid form in 2024, when Boston Dynamics switched from hydraulic to electric design. The latest generation of Atlas is lighter and leaner, ditching its bulky hydraulic system. The new electric setup doesn't just make it quieter, but also a lot more efficient, using less power for smoother, more precise movements. Its range of motion is significantly improved, thanks to a lightweight frame that mimics human flexibility while staying durable. But what's truly mind-blowing is how natural its movements have become. With upgraded computer vision and deep learning algorithms, Atlas can adapt to its environment in real time, making its actions eerily smooth. In one of Boston Dynamics' latest videos, Atlas shows off human-like motions, like leaning forward while running and tucking its torso as it slows down. Watching it drop to one hand and a knee before breakdancing is both impressive and unsettling. It even crawls on all fours and performs a handstand, like a pro athlete, but with a robotic twist. Before we go on, hit the subscribe button to keep up the latest tech updates. Another jaw-dropping feature of the new Electric Atlas is its 360-degree swiveling ability at the hips, waist, arms, and neck. These upgrades make Atlas far more flexible than most humans, and the way it moves is even cooler to watch. In one video, Atlas effortlessly swivels its hips, turning a handstand into a round-off before standing up with its head tilted backward. Boston Dynamics credits these eerily human-like movements to a mix of athletic intelligence and model predictive control. Essentially, Atlas learns from watching other robots and humans, allowing it to predict and adjust its actions in real time. This advanced AI helps Atlas navigate new terrain or avoid obstacles on the fly, with depth sensors ensuring it always reacts to its surroundings. To nail these athletic feats with precision, Atlas runs on NVIDIA's high-performance computing platform, Jetson Thor. And it's no surprise that Boston Dynamics has teamed up with NVIDIA, 
a leader in the tech world, to supercharge Atlas's abilities. The Jetson Thor fits seamlessly into Atlas's design, integrating with its body and manipulation controllers. According to Boston Dynamics CTO Aaron Saunders, this partnership with NVIDIA has given Atlas the most powerful computing platform available. Isaac Lab, a modular framework for AI robots, is key to developing cutting-edge AI capabilities, and the results are already impressive. Think of Isaac Lab as a virtual reality simulator for robots, complete with realistic environments and fast simulations that teach bots how to handle real-world tasks. It's like a driving simulator before getting behind the wheel. Isaac Lab's customizability makes it more cost-effective and efficient to train robots for tasks like cleaning or moving objects. And because it's open source, robots like Spot and Unitree's G1 can be trained to perform precise movements. In fact, it was through Isaac Lab that Unitree Robotics got their G1 humanoid to pull off a side flip, proving that the NVIDIA partnership is key to Boston Dynamics robots, achieving incredible agility and flexibility. Indeed, all of this is made possible by NVIDIA's Isaac SIM, the backbone of the Isaac Lab simulator. It lets developers create a universal scene description, OpenUSD, allowing them to simulate and test AI-driven robotic solutions. So how does it work? Let's say you're training a robot to pick up a box. Isaac Sim generates a hyper-realistic virtual environment with synthetic data, like varying object positions, textures, and lighting. Inside Isaac Lab, tools and instructions guide the robot through the task creating a training loop with reinforcement learning to prepare it for the real world. With this training, robots like Atlas and Unitree's G1 can perform flawless backflips and sideflips. But Atlas is more than just an Olympic contender. It's designed to assist in search and rescue missions, navigating tough terrains and helping first responders. That's why DARPA is investing millions to boost its strength, endurance and precision. Once fully developed, Atlas will be ready to carry supplies and aid during disasters like the California fires or Hurricane Milton in Florida. Beyond saving lives, Atlas can also lighten workloads and prevent injuries by taking on dull, repetitive and dangerous tasks. Boston Dynamics has even shown how Atlas will work in Hyundai's facilities, helping pick up, carry and place objects on the assembly line automating the sequencing in automotive manufacturing. Since the first Atlas model debuted, it struggled to mimic fluid human-like movement, only recently achieving impressive feats like jumping over obstacles and moving across rubble. But while watching a robot perform human tasks is awe-inspiring, it raises concerns. In 2024, when Boston Dynamics went fully electric, they released a video showing Atlas lying face down, then folding its legs back, rising to its feet and swiveling 180 degrees before marching forward. The intent was to showcase its extreme mobility, even surpassing humans, but reactions were mixed. In an article titled, Boston Dynamics' new Atlas robot is a swiveling, shape-shifting nightmare. The Verge's Jess Weatherbed called it unnerving, likening it to a Cronenberg body horror film. Comments ranged from humorous, this is the final evolution of the Pixar lamp, to nightmare-inducing. In one of their latest videos, released on March 19, 2025, viewers saw the new Atlas robot walking, running, and crawling, powered by reinforcement learning from observing human motion and animation. Many viewers joked that the robot's advanced agility was signaling the end of times. One comment equipped, It's been nice watching the origin story of our apocalypse these past 20 years. Progress. Another added, It was nice knowing all of you. We had a good run. However, not all reactions were negative. Some users praised the progress, with one person saying, that's the most fluid and smooth I've seen a humanoid robot walk and run. Bravo, guys. Another noted, the movements are so natural, it's easy to forget how much work went into all of that. So, what do you think about Boston Dynamics' new electric model? Do you see a future where humans and their superior humanoid assistants live in harmony? Or are we witnessing the rise of Skynet in real time? If that's the case, Boston Dynamics won't be the only bot we'll have to worry about. With a design that mimics human anatomy, Clone Alpha's muscular skeletal and vascular structure is eerily lifelike. 
Clone Robotics is even accepting pre-orders, meaning their humanoid could hit the market alongside Tesla's impressive Optimus. In 2024, Elon Musk took to Twitter to announce that Tesla would begin low production of truly useful humanoid robots for internal use next year, with plans for higher production for other companies in 2026. This means that by 2030, we could see these humanoid robots becoming a significant part of the workforce in high-tech and forward-thinking companies. But Tesla isn't alone in the race. Aptronic is also making major strides with their humanoid robots. Right now, they're working with Mercedes-Benz to test their Apollo robots on the company's manufacturing line. Aptronic's CEO, Jeff Cardenas, believes that humanoid robots should be able to fit into every space humans can and use all the same tools we use. His vision is that we won't need to change the world for robots. They'll simply adapt to our environment. But that raises a crucial question. If robots can seamlessly fit into human spaces, what happens to the humans who get pushed out? With other car makers like BMW using humanoid AI, like the Figure 02 in their plants, this question is going to need an answer sooner rather than later. And it doesn't stop there. They might even be able to reproduce without us, as factories are now building robots that can make other robots. If you're curious about autonomous robot replication, check out my other video on robots giving birth. Who knows, in the distant future, humanoid robots might even outnumber us. So, what do you think of Boston Dynamics' new Atlas? Is it the next-gen tool that signals humanoid robots are about to take over and replace humans? And what do its advancements mean for the future of work? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for sticking around until the end. And if you don't want to miss the latest AI updates, make sure to hit like and subscribe.